Welcome back everyone, this is Dave from Cormorant Productions, and today I'm going to be expanding upon points that I made in my video on This Is Us, Season 5, Episode 5, The Long Road Home, specifically related to Kate's thread in that episode. In that episode, Kate decided that she needed closure with her ex-boyfriend from 20 years ago, so she decided with Toby in tow to go and visit him at his job after googling him and finding out where he works. I said in my video that I thought that was an ill-advised adventure. But after I was done with the video, another reason occurred to me that I did not discuss during the course of that video. So I decided to make a separate video to expand on my original points. Mark was not just any ex-boyfriend. He was manipulative, abusive, controlling, and very quick to get angry over the dumbest and smallest of reasons. In the final two episodes that we saw the character of Mark in season four, while driving to the cavern, he got angry with her kicked her out of the car in the middle of winter, in the middle of nowhere, and abandoned her. Let, let me repeat that so that that will sink in for you. He left a teenage girl in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of winter. Anything could have happened to her. She could have been murdered for all he knew, or cared for that matter. He did eventually return for her, but that doesn't make a difference. He was gone for quite a while. Once at the cabin, he broke her dad's old mug on purpose. He locked her out of the cabin, again in the dead of winter, and just left her out there until she broke a window to get back inside. And like a lot of victims of abuse, when the family noticed her wounds, she covered for him. So one can make the case that this is a very dangerous individual that Kate really needed to stay away from. And I am in fact making that case. Now, Teen Kate visiting him in that same episode was one thing. I would have been shocked if Kate didn't do that, honestly. Adult Kate visiting him, however, is an entirely different matter. Inviting this guy back into your life is a mistake. Now granted, she basically showed up to tell him off, but that doesn't really make a difference. You found him What's to stop him from looking you up? He knows your last name. He knows that you found him. So he could easily use the same methods to find you. In addition to that, he did see the car that you drove away in. He could have gotten your license plate. You have a husband, a baby, and potentially you were about to adopt another baby very soon. So this isn't just about you. You are risking the, your family's safety on something that quite frankly isn't worth it. There's got to be another way to get closure. Now This Is Us is not exactly a dark show. It has its dark moments, its sad moments, but I don't expect to see a plot line where Kate's dog is suddenly murdered and hanging from a noose. I don't think we'll have a Cape Fear situation with Mark. And I realize that this is just a television show. But here's the thing. You have victims of abuse that watch your TV series. They might get it into their heads that this is a good way to go. 
and it's not. It very much is not the way to go. When you have a TV show that is as popular as This Is Us is, which is a realistic family drama, you do have to be careful with the types of messages that you are sending out there. So in my mind, the writers whiffed here. So if you are an abuse victim, what's a good way to seek closure from that type of relationship? I honestly do not have an answer for you. But I know that this isn't it. But, because you are my loyal fans who I love and adore, I'm going to look that up. And in a future video, I will perhaps speak on that subject and give you an answer. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Either way, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on the matter. If you like this video and want to support my channel, there are a number of ways to do so. You can follow me on Twitter at Core Productions. Join my Facebook group, Corman Productions. You can purchase something from the Corman Productions at Zazzle.com. And of course, you can like, share, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel. This is Dave from Corman Productions, signing off.